All right, we had a question come from Yummy. I think that's how your name is or how you pronounce it. Um, do leave it down in chat in a more simple way so I can so I can understand it. But we got a question from him, him asking, what is super armor? Well, super armor is basically like when an enemy gets a buff to where he can't be flinched or moved or any type of things that will keep him in like a lock of flinch. I'll show it to you example of an enemy getting flinched. As you can see he's flinching but there's an enemy in here that uses super armor. There's actually two enemies. And that'll be the turtle and I think it's called a uh, hmm dragon Dragon Leopard? It's what I believe it is. So we're gonna skip on to it. As you can see, he's getting flinched. So I'm gonna move on and kill the rest of these little things before they get in the way of the whole showing you. So we'll be right back. Guys, we we're finally at our little friend with the super armor. And not only this guy has it, Certain bosses have it too, like elite bosses that are really high level, well, a few levels above you, this happens. So when he uses the super armor, I will show you guys, as you can see he's flinching. I kind of stunned him there, come on use your super armor bro, there it is, as you can see on some Dragon you can see this little armor. And when you hit it, it deflects your weapon off. Now that you've seen it, I'm going to try and get him to do it again so I can show you guys what it does. Deflects off my attack. Come on, buddy. Stop being difficult. You're being really difficult. I'm sorry I have to keep torturing you here, but there it is. As you can see, it hits off my weapon each time I try to use a physical attack. Now, mages and um, scouts with, I guess, scouts with um, rifle don't have to worry about this super armor. Just because they're using projectiles that doesn't deflect physical attacks. And this can, this happens with a lot of skills. As you can see, I used my leap and it still deflected off. So it can stop skills too, which is very troublesome. <laughs> So I'm going to give him to do it one more time so you guys can get a feel for it. And certain bosses do this too, like I was saying, a lot of bosses do this. As you can see, it deflected off that and deflected off that. Well, sadly, all of my moves are physical. So <laughs> yeah. Sadly, I can't use a freaking controller because I don't have it right now. Oh god. This would make it a lot, e lot easier if I had my controller. But yeah, you guys get a feel for it. Certain bosses have it, certain bosses don't. So, for the sake of risking my life, I'm going to show you some of the bosses that do have it. And sometimes when it pops up, as an example. Okay. I don't recommend anyone do this. <laughs> I'm not pro or anything, I would not classify myself as it, but this bastard has super armor. And I will show you that his looks way different from all the other Dragonmons. Well, the ones that aren't bosses or elite bosses at least. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna skip right to the battle. Alright guys, we're back. It took me like <laughs> 5 minutes to kill everything, so we're gonna get into this boss's type of super armor. This is probably one of my most favorite bosses because his entrance and his fighting style is so much fun. This is my favorite boss out of this whole game. <laughs> Alright. Now, his super armor is when he starts to get lightning all over his body. Keep in mind that not all bosses have these quite 
obvious symbols of they have super armor on. Some of them have 24-7, like, all around the flex. And those are world bosses. But that's, I think it's mostly only if you're, like, a low level. If you're, like, a few levels lower than they are, you get the deflect. But I've seen some people, like, level 45 at least, who haven't been deflected by it by the super armor so I think it just creates some kind of a balance in a way but I don't I don't know I'm just gonna be honest with you I don't know how th how they really made it to work but I'm gonna show you what it is so this boss is pretty straightforward and simple I've beaten him once before on hard mode but yeah let's and there it is. As you can see, there is lightning all over his body, signifying that he has super armor on. And I'm vulnerable as I'm in that. So, yeah, basically, this guy's going to be really annoying without a team or a projectile user, at least. But I'm pretty sure everyone is, is affected by this super armor. I don't think anybody is above this one. And this one's very annoying. I've fought this guy so many times and died. Oh dear god. It's horrible not being able to use my controller. Because I can't... Oh god. Use it at the moment. So, I recommend tackling these dungeons on with allies. But as you can see, he can still be stunned and everything. And as you guys can notice that his attacks are way faster. He doesn't give that little charge up. It's like let you move for a second. He just throws out the reticle and just let lets it go. He doesn't even pounce down like he used to. I'm gonna die here, so I'm just gonna accept death. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep attacking this guy until I die. I'm not even gonna dodge your attack, because I know I won't win. Just kill me with that. Why did you not kill me? Okay, there you go. Alright guys. I hope you guys got a feel of super armor. It comes in multiple ways, but just to let you but just to let you guys know when your when your weapon's getting deflected off by physical attacks. He has super armor, and he can't be flinched or mostly moved or knocked back. It's I don't know how they're gonna how they made this work. So it, it seems you have to be either his level or something like that. I'm pretty sure somebody in the uh, comments will pretty much explain it for us and know how to get past it or how others got through it because I've seen quite a few people um, like mercenaries using vortex just continuously hitting them without it being affected when that's also affected by super armor for lowers but you shouldn't be fighting a world boss in the first place because they're evil <laughs> and not many of them give good stuff but some of them do <laughs> but like I was saying hope you guys get a feel of it. I hope you guys go in with caution when you figure out these certain bosses. Do go in with a team. It, you can do it by yourself, but I recommend doing it with a team because it's way easier, way faster, and everybody's looking after each other. Most players have good communication in the game, so they know what to do. Most of them will carry you through the dungeons. Trust me, they they will carry you. <laughs> but yeah, see you guys next time. If you need any more help, hope this helped you, um, Yami. So, and the rest of you who wanted to know what super armor was, well, Dragomon's form of su super armor. If you guys have any more questions, let me know. 
and I'll try to make a video on it. Whether it be cooking, fishing, your ranch. I'm still trying to figure out the ranch to be honest. But if you guys want to make want me to make a video on that, I I will. Even though I'm still trying to figure that out. So peace out. Thank you.